Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Let's jump right into today's product. Today we're reviewing Nude Cream Grima Nuda by Amarni Beauty. This cream is also their most expensive foundation. It comes in two sizes. The first is the smaller size, which is one ounce, which is the same as the Chanel Sublimage Foundation Cream. One ounce for $122. And um, they have a bigger size, which is 1.7 ounces is for $200. This is very pricey. I've already prepped my skin. Let's read about this product. So the keywords, more care, more correction, and more glow. The benefits, skin treatment for invisible correction and nude coverage. Mm, now that sounds kind of fun because nude coverage could lead to so many different ways. This is a tinted cream. The first is the cream nude glow treatment with performance power that surpasses BB and CC cream. Okay, which could be DD cream, well, you know, Armani cream. Transparent pigments suspended into a... The water-based texture allows the skin to reflect light in multiple directions for an enhanced glow while blurring imper imperfection. Specially blended formula contains Armani's exclusive anti-aging complex, Revis and Talus. Ooh, fancy ingredients. Here we go. To improve skin radiance and review younger looking skin. And review younger looking skin. Hyaluronic acid and the complete the formula by adding deep hydration with weightless feel. Which means it's something super light, very transparent, as they say, but it's gonna blur the imperfection. It's dewy or radiant finish. Um, I'm in shade three, which is fair glow. Um, the bottle is just like the regular um Armani foundation bottle. Let's blend. Okay, here is my initial thoughts. First things first, it is patchy. Mm -mm. It's not blended in. It's just not that mm -mm. feeling, not that dry, but so dry. Let's see what it looks like under sunlight. It's very shiny, dewy, I can tell, but the texture of the foundation itself, it's just, no. It feels not that bad, but I'm just let it. I'm just gonna let it stay and oxidize a little bit, and I'll come back and I'll see what happened. Just try to keep this dewy. Again, there's no highlight. or just setting spray. When I come back, I'll see if it's still like this patchy. Okay, let's make it simple. First of all, I think the foundation turns out to be a, a very okay one after all. I think you just have to let it oxidize a little bit. Uh, right now, all the complexion seems to be pretty okay. I don't have any problem with it. The foundation actually has coverage and I think it's very buildable. That's why I think my complexion right now can count as a medium coverage foundation and I build it up to medium coverage. I mean, I, the foundation, I don't have highlight right now. Not very much, but it definitely has that luminous finish the dewy look. It's been like, what, uh, five hours? It stays pretty well. I'm not mad, to be honest. All the drama at the beginning, but right now it turns out to be fine. So I suggest do not get your hopes up to expect the foundation can magically give you some sort of like an instant skincare support, even though it is not bad and I give it four stars, but I don't think I'm gonna buy it, use it as a foundation. It's very pricey, first of all, and you can easily replace this with other Armani foundation, which is half a price of this one. Not power fabric if you don't want full coverage, but luminous silk, lasting UV, designer lift are all very good choices. Can give you the same exactly luminous, the dewy look. This one, you don't have to buy it. That is so much for today's review of the Armani Creme Nuda. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.